So the question that's been asked of me is, what changes, other than focusing on tea growers, have I noticed in the SAM since our first trip in 1998? And it's now 2015, so it's 17 years later, 18 years later. Um, the SAM has changed more than I can describe. Uh, some of the changes are very positive, and some of them are very negative, in my opinion. Uh, the positive changes include uh, a higher standard of living for some of the poorer people uh, that have developed a, more of an economic background and more ability to make some money, including our tea growers. Um, another positive change is the movement towards organic production. There's, there is really an organic movement taking place here in the sound. It's, uh, well underway and it can't be stopped now. Just next door in the building next door, the organic tea growers of the SAM are meeting. And uh, we've started a Northeast India Organic Small Tea Growers Association that includes people from Nagaland, uh, Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura, and Assam. So I'm very delighted to say that the work to develop this organic movement, both in tea and in vegetable and food production is now unstoppable, so that's fantastic. Another great change that I've seen is the movement towards the recognition of the dangers of genetically modified food and genetically modified rice in particular, and uh, the development of seed banks, one just down the road at Jorhat here, uh, the first major living seed bank for preserving the rice varieties in Assam. When we first came, those rice varieties were uh, more numerous by the thousands than they are now. So I guess that would be on the loss side. Uh, thousands of varieties of rice are disappearing uh, as the multinational government global partnership pushes to create monoculture and hybrid and genetically modified foods. So there have been some losses and there have been some great gains. So that's on the agri agricultural side. On the cultural side, interestingly enough, I was just in uh, Dibrugar town uh, for the last few days and there was a party in the hotel next door that was shaking the walls of my room. Boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom. And I was getting very frustrated. So I went down to the hotel next door. I spoke to the manager and I said, sir, this is a very noisy party and I'm trying to sleep next door. And he said, one more hour, it will be over. And I knew that was an Assamese hour, so I waited one hour and 15 minutes. And then I went next door again to talk to the manager, and still the party was booma, booma, booma. He said, 15 more minutes, sir, the party will be over. And in fact, it was. And downstairs from this party came 40 or 50 people between the ages of 20 and 30. And all of them were very drunk, and all of them were very badly behaved and all of them were being rude and loud, and all of them were dressed in Western clothes, high-heeled shoes, uh, trendy clothes, and all of them were behaving like uh, rude, drunk people all over the world behave. And I realized with a great deal of sadness that 10 years ago or 15 years ago or 18 years ago, I never would have seen such a sight in this town, ever. Uh, there was no respect I watched the hotel attendants, the older gentlemen, look with great sadness at this group of drunken young people who then climbed into their new shiny cars and went off to their individualistic, capitalistic, materialistic lives. And I felt an incredible wave of sadness that uh, there's a belief in Assam the these days that economic growth is everything. 
um, and it's coming at the cost of the loss of traditional community values, traditional moral values, traditional village values, and the collective energy of the uh, society that I used to know here. And I feel just a great deal of sadness about that. And uh, that is perhaps the biggest negative cultural change that I'm seeing. So I don't want to say that everything is negative, but the momentum for this individualistic, capitalistic, greedy uh, society that is also unstoppable here in the Sam. So on the one hand, we have these movements towards environmental sanity, sustainability, and preservation. And on the other hand, we have this headlong rush towards the destruction of this culture. And they're in competition now, like they are in my country too. Those forces are in competition. And it's uh, very tragic for me to experience that. So that would be some of the biggest changes that I've seen.